Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about frequently asked questions about photo room and how to fix them. So I've got a big list that we got from our Facebook community on photo room. And if you're not in it, join it because it's great to see what other people are doing with photo room. And if you have a burning problem, it is the place for you to get that solved. So let's go through the list. One thing that we have a lot is how do I use the same background? Let's say I want to get this beach. Here's a trick. It's called image guidance. So if you want to reuse it, you can go to instant backgrounds. You can go to create backgrounds and you can actually drop a reference file. So we're uploading the beach picture here. And now if you have a look, you're going to see that we recreated it and it's inspired. So now from our beach picture, which looks like this, here's what we did. It's not perfect. You're not going to get the exact same beach over and again. But if you want a quick way to reuse the same background, it's just uploading it as a custom background. You can do this in the app or on the web app. So let's go to the second one. How do I have instant backgrounds with two people? Actually, you know, you can do one thing. So this is a picture of Yan, the video editor for our channel. But let's say you want to have multiple people in here. So let's say we want to have Larissa, who also works at Photo Room, is we're going to edit the cutout and we're going to erase Larissa. So now we have the scene where we have the photographer taking a picture of Yan. So now what we're going to do is going to click instant backgrounds and we're going to try to set the scene to make this come alive, right? You can see we have them walking in the water, taking pictures of each other. So it's okay. So here we're going to say, oh, it's Yan and his dog. And I think that's about right. And now we're going to refresh this with photo room because it's replacing the background every time you can add as many people as you want and you can still get great shots. And so you can see how it's placed both of them on the beach and it works really well. So question number two is how do I insert a watermark to have a watermark? Basically, it's the original thing that I was showing. You can go to your designs and you can just insert it in the bottom on the app. You can have your branded elements and have that there. But on the web app, this is currently the best way to do it. How do I remove hands from dog picture? So this is a very common problem. So let's say we have this picture of our dog here. So if we just paste it in, you can see that it's kind of left the hand in there. So what you're going to do is click edit cutout and you can just basically zoom in and to erase. And then here we want to keep the legs. And so you just select all the parts that you need. And now we've removed the hand by clicking edit cutout and you can do this on the app or the web app and just confirming that. So now we have it. How do we make a quick Valentine's Day picture? Very easy. You can have Valentine's Day roses, love. If you just search for love, you'll find something cool and it'll basically add a bunch of love balloons for your photos, which is or you can have the roses as well. But that's a really easy way to get your Valentine's Day ready. I know how to use the erase tool and it makes risk removal, but is there any blur we can add? So it's a gradient to transparency. If you want to have it a gradient, this is how you do it. So basically we copy and paste. We add another one on top. It will automatically segment it and their segmentation is really good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to match it so it follows the exact original size and I think you see where I'm going with this right now we're going to change the opacity here so here we can adjust it and if you go down you can see opacity right here and here if you want to not just remove the background but make it a, a gradient you can reduce the opacity something else it might not be exactly what you're looking for here so you can kind of play around with the opacity of the gradient and it's one way that makes it easy so let's keep going. How do I remove a person from a shot? So that's me in the corner with the brown hat. And you know, this person is a bit in the way. So you can edit the cutout and we're going to just erase this person. And we're also going to erase this. We've actually removed everybody and you can do a new background. And last question, how do I make it warmer or colder to match the background? So here's one. This is me and my girlfriend. 
If you want to make it warmer or colder, because you can see the background's pretty warm, you have the warmth setting here. And here you can see it's going to make us a lot bluer or a lot yellower. And then if we did another instant backgrounds, it usually will try to match it automatically. But if it doesn't, you can see we can again just adjust it and go for something a bit more natural looking. That was our frequently asked questions for Photo Room. Hopefully answered some of the community questions we've been getting. And if you like this video, you're gonna love these videos here. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch some more Photo Room content.